terrified. Listen to me, Republicans, listen. You are the people in history they warned us about. They warned us about people like you. Pay attention. We're losing our democracy. Wake up! Wake up! They're getting tired of the pandemic, aren't they? He asked his trailer park trash crowd in Arizona. The dumb bastards are his advisor, a radiologist named Atlas, and the people in his crowds without masks and anybody else who believes in this murder-suicide pact called herd immunity. And of course, Trump himself. If you don't support Black Lives Matter, I'll break your knee, gunny, gunny caps. If you don't support Black Lives Matter, I'll break your knee, gunny, gunny caps. If you don't support Black Lives Matter, I'll break your knee, gunny, gunny caps. If you don't support Black Lives Matter, I'll break your knee, gunny, gunny caps. Hi. I want to show you what I got as a gift. It's called a dammit doll. You made this comment earlier in the campaign about Joe Biden. Let's take a listen to that. Every time he comes on stage or they turn to him, I'm like, Joe, can you get it out? Let's get the words out, Joe. You kind of feel bad for him. How do you think it makes little kids with stutters feel when they see you make a comment like that? Uh, first and foremost, I had no idea that Joe Biden ever suffered from a stutter. I think what we see on stage with Joe Biden, Jake, is very clearly a cognitive decline. Okay. That's what I'm referring to. It makes me uncomfortable. You have you are no ab you have, is, I can't, this is so amazing. It's so amazing to me and, that, and, that and try and figure out an answer. A cognitive decline. Well, when you're trying you, to tell you, me that what I was suggesting was I a think that you were mocking I his stutter. Idea, Joe yeah, I think you were mocking his stutter, oh, and I think you have absolutely no standing to diagnose wow. somebody's cognitive decline. I would think. I'm not that somebody I'm in the Trump family would be more sensitive to people who do, do not have medical not licenses diagnosing politicians ago, from afar. Ago. Plenty of people have diagnosed your father from afar, and I, I'm sure it offends you, your father-in-law from afar, I'm sure it offends you. You don't have any standing to say... I'm not diagnosing him. What I'm saying, Jake, you just talked is about that a cognitive decline. That Joe I, Biden I, I, is I have one last question for you, Laura. You can't. Times you, on stage, and it's very concerning to a lot of people that this could be the leader of the free world. Okay. That is all I'm saying. I genuinely Thank you, feel Laura sorry Trump. for Joe Biden. I appreciate it. I'm sure it was from a place of concern. We all we all believe that. Laura Trump, thank you so much. Coronavirus cases are back. Trump appears to have nominated the least qualified person in this country. If Amy Coney Barrett were a foreign born applicant for American citizenship, it is doubtful that she would get halfway through the sit-down interview before she would be asked to leave and leave the country. She appears to have no commitment to democracy, no knowledge of American history, and no awareness of the Constitution. And of course, in a bit of prearranged theater, Senator Cornyn asked her if she was relying on any notes and would she hold up the notepad in front of her and it was blank. Blank, like her qualifications for the Supreme Court. Sarah Palin with a better vocabulary. Is Amy Coney Barrett a threat to women's rights in your guys' opinion? Yes. Yes. yes, yes, yes. She said that she supported the black community and she said that she had black kids and that's why she supports the black community. But guess who else had black kids? Slave owners. Slave owners had black kids too. The devil has risen from hell and taken over the Republican fascist party. For 30 years, Republicans have been taught to believe that this is their country and that whenever they are not in power, it is the result of treachery, trickery, or crimes by illegal aliens or sabotage or other scheming. It is their baseline belief. It rationalizes their victimhood and it rationalizes stopping at nothing to retain or seize control. And they have long fully believed all the hate that Trump now throws against the wall on an hourly basis. And Trump, from early in his career as confidence trickster and manipulator of the stupid, has been expert at turning the unavoidable complexities of life into simplicities. 
you have failed? It's simple. It's the fault of all those minorities. You don't have what you want? It's simple. It's the fault of the Democrats who took it from you. You are faced with the threat of a virus? It's simple. It's not real. I beat it. I'm cured. I'll give you the cure. You don't have to wear a mask. But the maggots want to hear. He's bringing back the United States Senate and expanding our majority House representative. That's why we need to send Gary back to Washington, D.C. Also, sidebar, I know your birthday's coming up, Libra. Yes, it is, yeah. actually. <laughs> well, happy birthday. Um, hey. Sidebar, my brain just went, like, birthday. Uh, um, I had another question, too, that I, I it's really like, um, it's something that I sit and I think about. I'm like those weird people that sit on my couch and I just think about, uh, how, do, how do we fix the world? How do we make it that's better? That's called brilliance. <laughs> um, it's my Virgo brain. Um, oh God, so, you're a Virgo. So you just got every detail covered, too. <laughs> Got it. For the first time in my life, I voted red. Oh, it's so weird, it's so weird, it's so weird, it's so weird. I was a Democrat, I was a Democrat, I was a Democrat. This year has shown me so many eye-opening things. And with this, with this laptop scandal, I can't, in good conscience, vote for Biden. I just could not. I, I, I did not. In 2016, I thought a dumb, misogynistic businessman was now our leader and the world was over. I hated it. God, I don't know how to tell you how much I hated Trump. I, I don't. But you know, you know what? You know what I just did? I voted for Trump! <laughs>